Hey guys, Jeff, Executive Gardener here. It's been a while since I've done an episode, and the reason why is that it's uh, in August in Houston, Texas. And unlike most parts of the world where it's probably the best month to grow fruit and vegetables, this is the worst month. So this is like our winter for the folks up in zones one, two, three, four, and five. But here in zone 8B, uh, currently today, I don't know if you can see it from the sweat, but it is 102 degrees in Houston, Texas. So pretty much very few things grow uh, this time of year. We'll wait till September, October until it gets back down to 95 degrees, uh, 70 at night. So what I'm going to show you some some pretty interesting tricks today. Most of you that follow my channel, the Executive Gardener channel on YouTube, uh, know that I love growing peppers. Uh, one issue that you find with peppers is that uh, once it gets to be 102 degrees and at nighttime 90 degrees, it doesn't go down to 75 degrees like most parts of the country or most parts of the world, uh, the flowers tend to um, turn into fruit. So when the pepper plants put out the, uh, the flowers, uh, they fertilize and they grow fruit. The problem is that when the temperature doesn't get below uh, 90 degrees at night, that tends to be a problem. So I want to show you some tricks of the trade that you can do if you live in Florida or Arizona or Nevada, any, Texas, any of these hot areas like I live that can kind of trick your plant into thinking that it's getting below 70, 75 degrees. And it seemed to have worked for me, so I'll let you know. I'll show you it right now. It's about uh, 520. It's 102 degrees at night. I'll show you what my pepper plants look like. They look wilted and pretty bad. Uh, I'll show you a soil plant and I'll show you my three Dutch bucket hydroponic plants and then I'll show you the aftermath of what I do to trick them to get them to continue to flower and to uh, help them grow through the heat of 100, 105 degree weather and 90, 95 at night here in Houston, Texas. So hopefully this pepper trick may help you if you're growing peppers in hot places around the world. So uh, let me get behind the camera and show you what I mean. So here's a, just a small pepper plant. Um, I don't know what type of pepper, it's not important. But um, it's, a, it's a sweet pepper plant. But take a look at this. And what you can see here is you know, the leaves um, look much different uh, at nighttime when it gets even to 90 degrees at night versus what it is right now when it's 103 degrees. This is a soil plant, you can see. But look, they're just kind of wilted, right? Uh, I mean, it's still producing some fruit. Haven't had a tremendous amount of luck, but uh, not doing so well. And you'll see here, I'm going to compare this to my hydroponic peppers. And there's not many buds you can see. There's a flower there, but there's not a ton of fruit. There's three or four there, one little one there. But other than that, not much to speak of. And there's a reason why. But if you grow with a Dutch bucket system or a hydroponic system, uh, you can do some things to... Uh, Kind of trick the plant and thinking that you're in zone five, four, where it gets 75 degrees at night, and uh, there would be a difference. But here's a soil, a soil, pot grown pepper plant, and again, in the summer, not putting off many peppers because it's just too dang hot. Let me show you my hydroponic system. Hey guys, I told you I was going to show you a before and after picture. However, here's the problem. I did do a before shot and uh, it's, it's, it was so hard uh, to hear over these huge turbine air conditioning units that I have, two for my house, that, uh, that it was just too muffled with a microphone. So I'm going, to, I'm going to tape it this way and I'll show you and this will be a quicker version. So. Here's the secret what I do. As I said in my opening video, uh, you have I have three Dutch bucket systems here. Three Dutch bucket uh, pepper plants have been growing since the beginning of the summer. It's, uh, it was 102, 103 degrees today. And all of these leaves where they look really good right now, you see them? Look pretty good. Ideally, it's pepper plants need to grow in 70 to 80 degree weather all year, well, any time of year, that's when they, when they do ideal. The issue is that, as I said in my opening uh, video, is that if the temperature does not get below 75 degrees at night, the flower set won't turn to fruit, so the buds will fall off. But as you'll see here, what I've done 
is two things. Uh, to keep pepper plants growing where it's 102, 105 during the day and it doesn't get below 90 degrees at night. Typically, as I said, fruit won't set on plants in that conditions. Okay? Again, it has to be below 75 degrees for the flowers to pollinate and turn to fruit. So what I do is two things. Number one, what's required is the temperature to be below 75 degrees, as I said. So what I do is I take two, two big two-gallon buckets of ice and I dump them into right into the plants, right into the basin there. See the hydrogen right there? In each of these. And I completely soak the roots with uh, about a gallon, gallon each of pure ice water. What this does, I think, right before I do it at night, right before evening, is it basically tricks the plants into thinking that it's a little bit, it, it is getting 75 to 70 degrees colder at night. It chills the plants out because the water, the roots take the cold water up through the plants. And what happens is my flowers aren't falling off. They're actually budding. And the amount of fruit that I have on this plant is unbelievable. So if you'll take a look, just here's a few right here. See, these are turning into fruit. Uh, you see you know, small pepper plants here. These are all sweet pepper bell varieties. Okay, And on this plant, you'll see these are all turning into fruit. I mean, they're all over the plant. My third plant, take a look here. You'll even see fruit setting here. There's tiny fruit there. Um, and they continue to fruit. And about a week or two ago, they were all flowers. Now, I have all fruit. So, this is very unusual for zone 8B or zone 9, where we get extreme temperatures during the day like we do. So, that's the secret. Ice water. Put it in there, and you will have more fruit than you can imagine. Without it, my buds would fall off. They wouldn't form fruit and it was problematic. So the other thing you need to do to set fruit is you need uh, enough air circulation. So this is dead space here. This is dead space that I have uh, next to my air conditioned units and it's facing the south. Okay, So it gets plenty of sun during the day. When this is going during the day, the air that's generated from these big air conditioned units, they constantly push the leaves and flow air through the leaves. So, um, as you know, most leaves, or excuse me, most flowers on these pepper plants have to be pollinated. To do that, they have to shake, or you have to have bees or something else pollinating. Because of the constant flow of air through these, it, uh, there's no problem setting fruit. In fact, there's fruit everywhere. So, that's another trick that I use. So, again, um, in my 10 previous years here that I've tried to grow peppers, sweet peppers, bell peppers, throughout the hot summer seasons, none of it worked. This does work. The secret, ice bucket. Put large amounts of ice right before night, a little bit of nutrients in there, and these plant is just like you know, sending it through their veins, right? And they perk up right away. Again, if you would have seen these pepper plants and these leaves an hour ago, they all were completely wilted uh, from the heat. But uh, the ice water kind of rejuvenates it and it gets it back where it needs to be. I do this every night. Because of the extreme heat here, we get about evaporation of a gallon or two a day anyway, so I just replenish it with ice water. And then the reservoir has got the ice water sitting in it through the night. It continuously flows, drips through the Dutch bucket system to these plants. So the water is now down probably 70, 75 degrees, which is necessary to set fruit. So there you go. That's a little tip. If you live in zones 8, nine and ten you're going to need to do that to grow sweet peppers otherwise you'll get no fruit and uh, if you live in zones you know two three four five six you got no issues you're good to go your issues are the winter and the frost so i hope you've enjoyed this quick trip from the executive garden channel please give me a thumbs up if you like it pass it on to a friend who may be interested in gardening or if you know someone that lives in the hot states like texas california Nevada, Arizona, Georgia. anyway hope you've enjoyed this have a great week this is